Alrighty, everyone. Thanks for bearing with me. This is part four of the Rainbow Energy readings that I'm doing for today. All of these cards um, I pulled to be able to have guidance in my meditation for today and as part of my preparation and um, um, just part of a complete day of dedicating myself to this Rainbow Energy Healing for um, all of all of you that are going to be participating with us and um, again I was drawn to Stuart Pierce and his Angels of Atlantis the messages from his two set of cards um, are I know divinely inspired and um, just um, I, I want to be able to convey to you how with how much love this is being done and uh, how much um, energy of hope and compassion and um, working with the Ascended Masters and the Archangels and these beautiful divine energies. I can't tell you how inspired I am. We'll go to the first card today and it is Archangel Michael with the I Am Presence. When you state what your words, when you say I am, whatever follows that statement is a clear sign of resonance to the universe of what it is that you want. So make sure when you say I am happy, I am well, when you start to think, I am sick, I am unhappy, I am poor, all of those statements carry the weight of the universe behind them. You are stating a fact. You are stating a truth. So watch your words. Watch what it is that you are saying about yourself. Ask and state to the universe in a positive and definitive manner, I am well. I am happy. I am loved. I am loving. I am in great joy. Whatever it is, that sovereign presence of Archangel Michael will bring it to you. And you will embody that which you are saying. Um, Archangel Michael is one of my divine guides that I work with every day. And it's telling you that you have your own spiritual sovereignty. You are the one who decides. You are the one who decides what you will exhibit in this life and what your spirit will be. And that you, for you to know, you have the power of the Creator. This beautiful purple energies. You have the power to create what it is that you desire in your life. You are the responsible one. When we discover our soul's purpose and we allow ourselves to be um, initiated into the world as a, a seeker, a spiritual seeker, um, sometimes other people will... Um, not believe and say negative things towards you but you need to know who you are and Archangel Michael comes in and helps us maintain our presence maintain that knowledge of who you truly are and that we are part of the universal wisdom the universal mind and the I am presence it says this is the moment when divine compassion moves through you and alerts you to the fact that what you see without is also within. Feel your throne as the seat of empathy and chant ha through your base chakra to support this energy. So connect to Mother Earth through your base chakra, which are the, um, uh, see yourself as extending roots from your base chakra down into Mother Earth to really ground yourself in her abundance and to be firm as to who you are. The second card that I pulled was Archangel Raphael and it's cleansing. 
cleansing out those, weeding out those thoughts, weeding out those, um, those impurities which drag you down by um, doubt and fear and um, not believing in your self-worth of who and not believing who you truly are. Archangel Michael uh, Raphael comes in with his green healing light. Again, he's working very much with us today. And I'm really drawn today to these this orange flame on the water. The orange flame of creativity. The orange flame of a cleansing, a burning away, um, but soothed by water, soothed by the emotions of love and compassion. So allow those things that no longer serve you to be cleansed from you, to be um, burned away, and allow the, the flames of um, St. Germain and the Violet Fire to come in and cleanse you. It says, um, Stuart Pierce says, um, to use the strong elemental forces to be cleansed by them, by drenching the substance in water or burning the idea in fire. You can write down the thoughts, the situations you want to be cleansed of and released and burn them or put them in water. Both measures literally release the energy to the elements, thus transforming them from negative into positive. We need these initia initiatory forces when we move from one important condition to another. And as we see in the ceremonials that use fire and water, joining together in faith, chant he to provide mental clarity. Beautiful, beautiful message. Our third card, and again, I know this card was pulled by Mandy, Earth Mother UK in her reading this week, is Shemuel with Beginnings. This beautiful lavender light you see this girl walking into her future into her new essence into the new being we're being surrounded by light we're being welcomed by the light we're being drawn we're being exhorted that we walk towards this light we walk towards these energies um go forward go forward don't look back there's nothing behind you that can serve you. There's rainbow colored energies here as the water reflects um, the light and uh, creates a myriad of healing energies as you walk forward into new beginnings of the, these, this shift of, of love that we are going into in this fifth dimension. And then again, Shamuel as our divine guide is saying that there's going to be new experiences, new opportunities that are going to be drawing you to new people, new places, new projects. So allow, after you've burned away those things that no longer serve, allow for the new to come in for you. Um, be open and receptive and see the new as the time to be met by the sun of the source with renewed vigor and well-being, just as you greet the dawn of a new day with love, hope, and joy. And it says, um, from the beginning, uh, uh, he says to ch chant, I hope I'm going to say this right, I'm going to try, Om Bahur Bhuva Savaha. I hope I said that right. The beginning of the famous Gayatri mantra, mantra to bring the new energies dancing through. I can only, I'm sure I'll be corrected, but it, it, you can check it out on Facebook, find it on Google. <laughs> And the last card, we come in with Archangel Uriel, his yellow ray of illumination and enlightenment to tell us we are abundant, that our abundance is here. I mean, just look, here's the tree of life again, that, that we are joining of the earth. Here you see the earth and the universal elements. And everything is conspiring to bring the abundance to you, to to open it with open arms. And what I absolutely love is all inside the orb is rainbow colored energies, rainbow energies. These rainbow energies, I know, I know I've been saying it morning, noon, and night, but I cannot stop saying them. I cannot stop emphasizing the, these energies and their abilities to lift us 
into our abundance. That says the tree of life brings abundant flow into your life at this very moment. And this is why that we have chosen Uriel's Oracle of Abundance. The core of all abundance is source. When you totally believe in the flow of the divine, the bounty of God is responding in like measure. So develop our muscle of faith by the positive regard of all our amazing achievements. Fill your life with gratitude for the abundance. And I know today in Lydia's reading for this week, she also pulled the gratitude card. Being grateful leads us to receiving our abundance and prosperity. And I know that she also pulled the prosperity and abundance card. So this is just reconfirming what our beautiful Lydia, Goddess Divine, also has sent us a message in her reading today. All right, my dears, we're wrapping up our getting very close to our Rainbow Healing event, which will be in, let's see, in a couple of hours. Um, again, if you want to participate, um, I still have a little bit more time to be able to accept you and, um, any donations would be on my website, akashicinspirations.com. And please, please join us uh, in this beautiful event that we're having this evening on my channel, 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Sending you blessings. Namaste.